All right, we are back to the road trip. Like I told you, the van is fine. According to the mechanic, <clears throat> there was a broken wire at the idle air control valve. So it was an electrical issue, not a mechanical issue that it wouldn't idle. See, the mechanics of this vehicle are just fine other than the blown head gasket. <clears throat> They also uh, did an oil change and they topped up my coolant, most of which I dumped on the side of the mountain on my way up here last night. Uh, but as it is, I am in Fairplay, Colorado. I am on my way to Vail via Shrine Pass. So let's see if I can make it there without overheating. So I was thinking as I pulled over here at the foot of Shrine Pass, overheating as per usual. I don't even remember why Shrine Pass ended up on my to-do list in the first place. So I looked it up. Shrine Pass is traversed by a narrow, unpaved road. Most of the time, it is a four-wheel drive trail only. However, in ideal weather, the road is considered traversable by sturdy two-wheel drive vehicles. <laughs> sturdy, eh? How much is it worth? Is it, is it worth going up that trail right there, that dirt trail that may not be passable. When I could get back on I-70, take that to Vail, then I can go to Piney Lake like I was planning. I, I didn't bring the van on this road trip to be gentle and nice to it. I brought it to do the stuff I wanna do. That's what this whole road trip is about. Doing crazy things that I might regret later. Shrine Pass it is. All right. temper tantrum again. Check out my view, huh? Isn't that beautiful? That's why you do Shrine Pass. So I definitely made the right call, even though it did kill my engine again. Don't have all day. I've broken down a little ways away from Piney Lake. I happen to have broken down here. Red Sandstone Road North Trail. Yeah, why not? Welcome to Vail. Man, I'm so out of shape. I'm not gonna climb Mount Albert tomorrow. All right, Piney Lake, let's do this. I was back in the parking lot knowing what I know now about how long and how hard this route is. I would definitely not bother going to Piney Lake in the van. In some other vehicle, sure. I don't know what happens to a, an engine that runs this hot for this long, but I don't think it's what it's supposed to do. That's why coolant is a thing. Better cool down a bit. Uh -huh. So, um, 
apparently it's a full-fledged resort up there. They got hiking trails and kayaks for rent and horse riding cabins. Got all sorts of stuff. That's nice. I, I think we should come here sometime. Worth what I just did to the van? I don't know. And now I gotta do the whole thing in reverse. Again, destroying the engine. So it's about 8.30. I am just outside Twin Lakes. Hopefully in an okay uh, place to stay. All the free campsites in the area were full. It was a hard day for the poor van. Basically from the time I left the parking lot at the foot of the hiking trail, it's been overheated. Through all of driving from Vale to Piney Lake, and all the way from Vale to Twin Lakes, hopefully this isn't, you know, permanent. Only time will tell. Ah, oh, I gotta go to bed. Good night.